Welcome back. All right, today I'm going to be doing a very cool unboxing. I ordered a base back in July, I believe, when I first saw the pre-order on it, and it was something very special and near and dear to me. I've been looking for a certain type of base for quite some time, and uh, this is like great price ranges for them on used markets, and I just didn't, I couldn't really find anything that was really peaking to what I've been in. I've been a big proponent of the P-Base in the last few years, so i um, loving the Fender stuff, and every time I kind of veer away from Fender, I come right back to it, and I'm like, I don't know, it's just, it's it's what I'm into right now. Um, still love the Warwick's play them still, not as often, but it, it's a very different type of feel and a specific thing. So like the metal stuff, I'll use the Warwick's and, you know, pretty much everything else, anything rocking, whatever else I play, I just into a P-Base or J-Base. So I did find something very cool and interesting, um, like I said, back in July, and I'm going to do a quick unboxing and show you what that is. Most of my gear that I get, I do get it from Sweetwater because it's just phenomenal. I mean, I, uh, this thing came out, like I said, it was released, I don't know, maybe Thursday I got the phone call, and it's already here on Sunday. So um, shout out to Mason from uh, Sweetwater. He's been my guy for many, many years. I trust him in everything I do, and he's never steered me in the wrong direction. I got my American P-Base directly from him. He had nothing sick. I mean, it was absolutely amazing when it came in. So I expect, I don't expect this to be an American base because it's not. <laughs> so, but uh, I do expect the quality. And look at the shipping. It's always packaged really well. So like I said, this is not an American base, but it is an American company that does sublet their stuff. And the stuff that they sublet, I have never had any problems with. I love it as much as the American made stuff. So yes, it is a Fender brand, but it is Squire. So Squire has released something that I have never seen them release before, nor have I seen Fender release anything other than the Steve Bailey, which I think was like 2010, the Steve Bailey base came out. and. Uh, just, I mean, for what it is, it wasn't attainable to me. So, uh, this is, says made in China. So, it's a squire that's made in China, not in Indo, which I do like the Chinese squires. I have no problem with them. They seem to package it really well. Got a piece of cardboard. All right, so I anticipated it being heavy, um, but it's not that heavy. Yeah, so it's, let me package the heck out of this thing, look at this. I'll be a lot lighter once I get all this stuff off. Allen keys, setting it up, which, it's a squire. You're gonna have to set it up. It's just unfortunate that they come that way, but it is what it is. You gotta save cost, and if you know how to file a nut, shave down some fret ends, maybe tune an Allen uh, truss rod adjustment. It's usually all they end up needing. Maybe a little bridge saddle adjustment, and a lot of times strings. But the strings they've been sending them, fender strings, I believe, they're not that bad. All right, so the big surprise of this reveal is how many tuning pegs you're going to see on this thing. Yeah, you see four on the top and two on the bottom, right? That's six, baby. It's the Squire's first six-string bass. And uh, mostly I play four strings. I have one five-string. I have owned many six-strings. And I haven't owned many six-strings in many years, I should say. Well, a six-string. So this is the Fender Bass 6, they call it, which I know a lot of you know that there's the, the Bass 6 guitar, but this is an actual six-string bass. So it looks like it has the same paint as the Rascal. It's that black metallic, which is freaking beautiful. Oh, man, this thing's cool. So it's basically, it's, it's a big Fender Jazz bass. You know, it's a six-string Fender Jazz bass. It's not too heavy. I'm impressed with that. It's got six bolts in the neck. 
that's a lot. The neck is definitely like a satin smooth. Um, feels okay. I mean, that, that should, you know, it's a little bit on the rougher side, but I'll probably put a little wax on that and it'll be fine. I use the uh, the Warwick wax. I sand it down with a uh, Scotch Guard and a little Warwick wax on all my necks. And I do the same thing. So look at that string tree. Holy Moses, look at that thing. That is a freaking string tree. All right, they got the no-name tuners. It's all right, not a big deal. I like the way they look, though. They're the Grover, the Grover style, whatever, Clover style, but they're a little thicker. Cool little squire on top, that's it. Nothing else but the squire logo there. So it's got just the two single coils, um, no push-pull. I don't believe this is active, which is cool, because I don't really care for active bases. Making sure there's no damage. I mean, this paint job is incredible. There's not a, not a freaking dimple in it. I gotta say, the stuff coming out of China for the uh, the Squires has been fantastic. That Rascal base is just something else. I mean, you know, other than a setup, and uh, I put new electronics in it from David K. Star. Those electronics are awesome. I may end up doing that with this too. But uh, the front ends are uh, they're okay. They're not great. They're not bad does need some oil I can see down there. So the fret, uh, it's a pow farrow. That is definitely pow farrow. Very light, uneven in the tone, which is kind of cool. It's interesting. You know what? The pow farrow is kind of growing on me because it's what you get in the, in the uh, more affordable stuff. So it is what it is. So it's going through the spark positive grid amp with the spark cab. So you get some, you know, good results hopefully out of this thing. sounds thunderous. say that is the best I've ever seen a nut cut that that's incredible that action is super low so they also uh, I've actually read up that they put uh, reinforcement graphite into this neck which I'm impressed I mean for a $329 base which how do you beat that how can you beat that pricing? Even just not a six string, just a four string at that price is just incredible. This thing feels great. I mean, it's 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 an Affinity series, so it's a little bit higher spec than the Sonic or the new entry level. So you're not getting anything that's not. I just got yeah. Those I mean, front irons are a little rough. Not a big deal. If I have to spend an hour setting this thing up, which I don't even think I would. I think it would just probably need that and a little wax in the neck. But good to go. about jumping up from a four string because I've been mostly playing a four string for the last few years to a six string and uh, this neck is actually very impressive it's not bulky at all it's not very broad either I mean the string spacing is pretty close
sounds in the back of it. The way this thing's set up, it plays phenomenally, just right out of the box. I don't want to get all nerd specky on you and get like a gauge on this thing or anything, but um, I don't. I don't. Yeah, maybe just a tad in the back. The saddles might have to come down slightly, but I don't even think so. and that thunderous B is just... That's stuff dreams are made of, boys. tune stability I know they say to acclimate to get to whatever I mean it's you know this time of year so it's around the same outside as it is inside but I did get it today so I wanted to get this thing out and post it quick at all down there this thing plays great I'm really impressed with this thing I mean you couldn't beat the price just 329 um, and you get it from Sweetwater and you know you get free shipping with it so I highly recommend getting this bass if you're looking in the market for a six string like I was I have been for many years and the reason I haven't pulled the trigger is because I was looking at the Ibanez ones and I played a couple of them and I just didn't like them and for me to buy a six string I kind of wanted something that I was going to fall in love with because I wouldn't play it if I didn't. And those Ibanez that I tried, I was not in love with them. Um, this bass, since it's so new and I love Fender, I was willing to take a gamble on it. I mean, it's a $329 gamble and I think I won. This thing is awesome. It really feels great. I'm very impressed with it. Um, I think I'm going to have to do minimal on the, on the frets on there. Then nothing's like, oh my god, it's going to rip my hand open. But they're a little sharper than I like them, so I'll smooth them out, get this thing going, and I'm gonna jam the rest of the rest of this video for you. Mm -hmm. 
Not a jazz player. I love jazz. I should probably start playing jazz, but I just never got into it. So, um, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think of some like old cool primer songs I used to play on these things. I did Blaylene already. Um, I guess Tommy the Cat would be. So, yeah, I'm going to conclude that with this video, but this is the Fender Squire Bass 6. Fucking thing is awesome. I love it. I am loving this thing. And I have small hands, notoriously. I have, my palms are the size of my fingers. Um, this thing's not too big. It's not hurting my hand. I'm not cramping or anything from the extended reach. And actually, this is not a big neck. I'm impressed. I really am. And I'll leave you with that. Once again, thank you for watching. As always, I'm going to come back with a couple other unboxing videos soon. I have a feeling that's all I'm going to be doing as of late. There's not a whole lot in the software community coming out. And um, there is a couple that I do need to do. But we'll see what happens if I can get to them. I'm very busy. I joined a cover band, the Joe Nacco Band, so keep an eye out for that. I'm going to post some live content soon and just uh, some jamming out some uh, cover tunes. Cool. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.